Hello everybody, hopefully your quarantine is still going all right. Mine's not going too bad. Now today is my birthday, but I still wanted to do a story, not only because I don't like days off. I can take like an afternoon or like a night off or like a morning, but not like an entire day. So in order to keep the stories flowing, in addition to the fact that I strongly dislike Amazon, I have an interesting story about how Jeff Bezos, now his wealth just jumped up an extra $24 billion to himself because of the pandemic, despite the fact that his employees have had 74 cases of the virus, one death and no paid sick time off. Now, I worked for Amazon. I was trained in 14 different jobs. And so I can talk about this from not only an intellectual perspective, but also a personal perspective as well. Now, here's what Business Insider had to say. I'm going to pretty much break down what they said because this is where I got the story originally from. And it's, it's pretty much just like a summary of what I just said, or vice versa, I should say. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, which, by the way, I checked and confirmed that this is in fact the case, Bezos is one of the few billionaires to have seen an increase in his net worth since the beginning of 2020. Bezos' wealth has increased by roughly 20% over the last four months to $138 billion in April. To put this in perspective, that's approximately $800 million a day, or $33 million an hour, or over $500 million a minute. Meanwhile, he doesn't offer paid sick time. Now, what Amazon, what they pretty much do is you have unpaid time off. You have paid time off, which is about a week and a half to two weeks. It's about the national average. And then you have no sick time as well. In addition to that, by the way, from a personal standpoint, everybody in there is sick and everybody's getting injured. So you might think, oh, you know, one and a half, two weeks, that sounds pretty good. No, it's not. Considering the fact that it literally takes, you know, a couple of weeks to even get through a single injury. And because they're pushing your work rate so high, literally everybody is injured. Most of the time people have their backs, their necks, their hips, and their knees are all busted up. And it's bad too. Like people are going to need surgeries and end up having to quit in order to get the surgeries. In addition to that as well, Amazon point blankly told me, by the way, when I had a foot injury, they said, quote, Amazon does not promote injured people. And so they pressured me not to report the injuries as a result. The reason why that's relevant here is because when we're talking about the amount of sick time and paid time off, you're literally having to go into your own accounts and take out your paid time off in order to compensate for these sorts of things because you're worried that, hey, if I want to progress in this field, I have to be able to hang, according to Amazon, what they say. Now, in addition to that as well, look, Amazon facilities are literally, from my experience, are 24 our warehouse operations. In addition to that, there's about the one in Portland, Oregon was about about 1200 people, 1200 and probably only about a handful of janitors. So when we're talking about paid sick time off, we're talking about like a million square foot facility that you literally you you really can't clean. You could clean like an inch of it here and there, but that's about it. For perspective on how big Amazon actually is, the warehouse that is, we had a 15 minute break. We had to walk seven minutes speed walking to the break room, grab a cup of coffee for a minute, and then speed walk another seven minutes all the way back to where we're supposed to be at or else we're going to get in trouble. Mind you, in Amazon, if you're a minute late, you get charged an hour of your paid time off. Granted, they give a little bit of leeway. They'll be like, okay, you have within like a two minute threshold. But then if you're an extra minute late after that, then that's where you get the, the hour taken out. So when we're having this discussion about Bezos and, and capitalism in general, we have to remember the fact that this individual has the capacity to radically improve his employees' lives to the extent to where he could have the best managed facility in terms of human health care that anybody has ever seen in the history of the world. But instead, this individual is making $24 billion in a month, profiting off of a pandemic that is killing everybody as a result of that. So the question that we have to have is, who is stepping up politically and challenging Amazon? Because the last thing that ever happened that I saw was the Amazon bill that Bernie Sanders supported, which increased the minimum wage to $15 for, uh, for Amazon. Other than that, I don't see anybody saying shit about this story, hence why I wanted to have this conversation with you guys as well. So anyway, hopefully you guys got something out of this, and if you didn't, it is what it is.